Ooh, this is an opening hand. I don't know how good Trinity Oath is going to be against Starhold. Probably less than it would have been against Fey, so we can ship there. Same with the Sojourner, actually. We probably just want these proactive and reactive cards. Make plays to the board. <laughs> Sky Burial again. This card is so bad. I think this needs to go. We can cut this for the Dioltas or Dancing Blades or whatever. Highlander good stuff. Probably doesn't message me to ask what the hell about Sky Phalanx, probably. Ooh. Oh, nice. Awesome. Let's drop an Azeroth Lion. Do I ship this? I think I ship this in the early turns. What are we afraid of from Starhorn? Like, Maloki Huntress. We have a dispel for that. Is Sky Barrel the worst removal in the game? It might be. It's de there's, You can definitely make a strong case for it. Like... Yeah, probably. I'm trying to think of worse ones. No, it might actually be. Perhaps in terms of hard removal, yeah, probably. I like I would definitely say it's worse than Dark Transformation even. That card's not great. I do love this, uh, the Azeroth Lion, just like, you know, yeah, everything's okay. We're playing a normal Lion or deck with a normal Lion or draw. Nothing to see here. <laughs> this will just get thumping wave though. Grow. Grow Razor Skin. Do we Primus Fist that? I'm pretty sure we Primus Fist that. We can take both the Mana Tiles. If only I had a one Mana use for the last one. We could leave this up, but I'd rather just nab it. It's good tempo. We waste the mana, but it's not a huge deal. I guess I should probably replace the Peacekeeper. Otherwise, that would be naughty. It's so fun, though. Ooh. Does that help? Can I go up here and... No, I'd rather just put the Windblade Adept in the middle. I guess another option, actually. We don't need to take this mana tile. What, what am I thinking about? Like, we can come up here. With the Lion... Lion needs to go here. I kind of want the Windblade in the middle because it's the strongest minion. But the Primus Fist needs to be adjacent. So maybe I should put the Windblade here, the Primus Fist on the Monotile. So let's do this. So we know this is happening. Circle of Desiccation ain't great either. I actually really like Circle of Desiccation. It's very clunky, obviously, but I find it surprisingly powerful. I'm going to play this instead of the Sun Wisp for Tempo. Actually, no, which side I place it on? Right, that felt pretty good. The old trading off Azeroth Lion for Tempo instead of holy immolationing it and going face. I like it. Wow, there's, we've drawn like most of our two drops. This is really good for the early game. This is exactly what we want against Starhorn. Just like flood the board early on and then let him draw his cards. The only downside is potential Plasma Storm for next turn, so I shouldn't commit this. Actually, maybe that means I want to save Scintilla. Although I, I suppose I can roar it. Yeah, run away. Fly, you fool. What, I, what, what do I want to see next time? Like, Afterblaze? We can replace it to Afterblaze for this. Bash him in the face for a ton. Afterblaze Raw makes a 7-7? Seven, seven? God Hammer? Okay. So we're going to punch him in the face with all our stuff. Where did that come from? Oh, Razor Skin. That's a really good Razor Skin hit. That makes me a bit nervous. All right, let's replace. Let's replace the fizz. Sweet. Um, so if I punch him with everything, we get rid of the artifact. I can put the primus fist here; it will absorb a grow attack. I can do the same thing with sun wisp. I can also roar the sun wisp. They won't trade, but it's pretty solid. Actually, the decks will activate first, won't it? 
three leaves is not spectating them. Nice. Um, I could just sunbloom these with the rest of my mana. But I think maybe it's better to scintilla. I can like roar the windblade adept, and hopefully the decks will kill it. In fact, yes. We go. I still need to play around Plasma Storm, so I'm not going to commit the Scintilla yet. Come down here. Roll this. Punch face. Now Dex will trade with it. Um, and we'll put the Sun Wisp like. Are we scared of Flash Mechantle? Not really, it's a Sun Wisp. Whatever. Alright, we attacked? Yeah, okay. So this will trade with the 5 1. This will come up here and. Kill the Primus Fist. Before we show it decide for like two seconds. Um, and then we get on with life, I guess. Hi, I thought you were streaming. It looked like you were conducting our match. <laughs> thanks. Um, yeah, no, thanks for popping by. I'll reply to your presumably next message later. Uh, if that's okay. Ooh, nature's confidence. Man, everyone's playing weird jank today. <laughs> Including me. Right, I think we can sunbloom those. And then have them all die. That seems good. And then kill this. With... Well, wow, I'm going to take a lot of damage this turn. What do I need? I don't need the Solarius as much. I don't need this, actually. I can get rid of that. Give me something big. That's definitely big. Okay. Smell these. Kill this. Develop Scintilla in a spot where it's relatively safe. Oh, he's gonna war beast it, isn't he? Oh well. Is this your Highlander list? Yes! Or oh, this is a Highlander list. Oh damn it, what was that last time? Oh, great. Um this is uh, a list I actually just threw together to play. Um, kind of clicked on all the good Lion Archives and a few neutrals in my entire deck, which explains the Sky Phalanx. Um, and this. I, it's pretty, it's a, it's a struggle to test, uh, Highlander decks on ladder, it turns out, but, uh, they put up an alright fight. The main problem with a match with you is, like, even if you didn't burst me down in that turn was, you know, I was gonna lose the inevitability game anyway, because I basically used most of my removal already. Just in that um, initial burst of interactions. No war beast. In there. Good. Man, the zoo is the zoo is strong in this one. So we can Alex and have this die. We can Iron Cliff Raw, which is maybe slightly better. Yeah. Or I can replace into a cheap drop that I can position to trade with it. Like, two drop raw Silver Guard Knight might be stronger. Although that doesn't really work positionally. Let's ship this guy. It's not terrible, but my opponent will just punch it, so it doesn't really achieve much. Um... I'm gonna go here. My opponent can theoretically like move into the corner. If they, if they have natural selection, they can move into the corner and body block. But I have Alex if I really want to hit my opponent in the face next turn. Shouldn't be relevant though. Sweet. <laughs> gonna get some regalias. I have this with regalia and Dawn's Eye for basically bonkers late game. It's probably bad, but it's fun. And that is what Highlander is about. Yes, give me them cards. Just looking for another natural, probably. Sweet. Opponent will probably concede if I cast that. Oh, actually, that's a light. They're a magma play. They can have plasma storm. And we don't have a magma anyway. Oh my god. Right. It's a bit scary. Um, if I play Suntime Maiden... Not all of them will 
I can not all of them will attack the Guardian, right? Like these two will hit the Guardian and these two will hit the Sunside Maiden. I can run over here. It still dies though because of God Hammer. So I probably don't need the Solaris. I probably don't need this actually. Here we go. Ooh. Actually, that does basically nothing. I guess it means I can attack one of them myself. Or even play... I can do Tempest, Suntide Maiden, and they'll... Most of them will attack the Suntide. We'll have one go into the Iron Cliff, and then two go into the Suntide. But it'll still die, and they won't, which is pretty awkward. No, they will, because they'll be two ones. No, wait, the Tempest lets me... The Tempest lets me kill the God Hammer. That's perfect. The only downside is it means I need to... No, that's fine. I can still use the Suntide Maiden, of course. No, what am I talking about? Oh, this is gonna go badly. <laughs> Alright. Drop this. Play Suntide Maiden and hope I don't lose. Go! Arjun is one of my best matchups, but it's always tough when we have unexpected cards. It looked like a Temple list to start with, and Marta and the Sky Power. Yeah, I figured it was gonna be. I've had a couple of, like, very normal looking openings. Oh, we died. What do we die to here? Like, Elucidator Thumping doesn't work. War Beast doesn't work. War Beast Fortitude does work. Um, I haven't actually played Arcanist Kara yet, actually. I've played against it quite a few times today. Ten past ten. I'll do another couple games. We actually, we actually won a game with Argy and Midrange Highlander on ladder. I'll, I'll take that. <laughs>